What's up, my pal? It's Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Let's Play Void Expanse. Yo! Majora is here, of course. So this episode, we're going to go and join the Order, for reals this time. Because we got the, uh, I think we have enough friends now in the faction that they'll let us join. Mm -hmm. So we have a nice, quiet cruise over there. Docking. Whoa, I'm docking. What? What? What's happening? What? What's happening? I've lost control of my ship, Majora. Oh no. They got me in a tractor beam! It's pulling us towards that moon! <laughs> oh god. That's no moon. That's no moon. I guess I'm coming back to, to go dock for some reason. I can't control my ship. Even the brakes don't work. Uh-oh. Oh, and I just flew right through the wall. Ricky. All right, ghost ship. Let's uh, let's try <laughs> this again. All right. I'll meet you at the station where we're supposed to be, since you're probably already <laughs> over there. I didn't see you fly past me though. Down. Oh, I ran into some space debris. Whoops. So what have you been up to, mate? Nothing. Playing games, watching streams. I'm playing a, a card game called Duelist. It's, I like it a lot. It's in open beta right now. Hmm. What does wait? What does beta mean for a card game? Uh, it it doesn't have a full set of cards out, and the game's fairly incomplete. This thing looks kind of like the space station from uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey. Hmm. The big spinning disc. Let's try out this new ion cannon. This thing's hard to aim, but if I can hit him again, he'll he'll be dead. Yeah, three shots with the ion cannon destroys a pirate, so that's nice. Considering it fires relatively quickly. All right, where's this station? Did I miss it? Yeah, I'm flying out into open space over here like an idiot. I can't wait till we get to like the super powered engines and the bonuses on cruise to the point where you can just cruise anywhere in like 10 seconds. Oi! So I went back and watched that that Game Bros video you mentioned where the, he first mentions his D Club. Mm -hmm. Could not believe it! Yep. He, he just, I think that John must have thought he was joking. Yep. Who knows? Alright, let's talk to Sergeant Ragnar. Who, whose voice was, uh, was he? I I think that was you. You're back! Anything to report? I've received some recommendations. Hmm, okay, let's see. Officer Threepwood wrote a great recommendation. I think you impressed him. Officer Whistler recommends you. His opinion has certain weight in the order. And Roscoe told us you managed to hack the Fanatic's device. That must have been difficult. And Officer Coldridge told me you helped him with something. Now he's on your side, too. So is this enough? You've done a good job. The order needs people like you. So I'm giving you a chance. I'm ready to join. Oh wow, did we just get like... F I just got five levels. <laughs> nice. Holy crap. Of course, you've already got two more levels than me because you, you went and turned in a quest after I logged out, stealing well, my half of the experience. Yeah, but, you know, Congratulations, you're now one of us. I'm also giving you our standard issue combat ship, the crab. What? He gives us a free crab? Nice, we got crabs. Yes! I've always wanted a crab. So I got, what, two level two lasers? Well, that would be nice if he's got two medium pulse lasers I can afford to buy. Which I can't afford to buy. Let's see. It's hmm. a massive improvement in structure and armor. Uh, slightly less maneuverable. Yeah, I think we have to use the crab now, right? I mean. Oh, yeah, totally. We're a part of the order now, right? So we gotta well, we use have to... that order. order mo oh, oh. Oh. oh, we can't pilot like cruisers yet. <laughs> Damn, we're supposed to be level 30 already then. So I guess we'll have to just have a crab parked for now. I saw a better ship that I wanted anyway for it instead of the crab. It had four it had four level two laser turrets. It doesn't seem to be one of them here. Well, we got the crab for free. I guess we could uh, just sell it if we want. Yeah, that's probably a good, good thing. I mean, the money now is probably worth more to us than the ship later, since I might not even end up using it, since it only has two laser turrets. Yep. So I'm going to sell my crab. 
Yeah, me too. Okay. He has a free ship and we sold it. <laughs> <laughs> we are like the worst order people. <laughs> Just we're, the worst. We're, we're private. We're, we're, more like, we're more like mercenaries than order actual. Must be. Must be. Oh, they, they pay Primo for electronics here. Hmm. Well, we can talk to Sergeant Ragnar again and ask about our duties now that we're part of the order. Alright, duties. Hmm. You've proven yourself to be, as a loyal soldier. Perhaps you can be of greater use to us. Go and talk to our leader, General Troyden. I'll grant you access to the command deck. Dismissed. Alright, you can do General Troyden's voice. Okay. Soul! Sergeant <laughs> Ragnar sent you! I should have known. <laughs> Let me look at your face! I see bravery and courage! I he said it's loyalty. it's General Troyden, not Counselor Deanna Troy. <laughs> Yes, you're the kind of person I need for this job. What job? For some time now, we've been gathering our forces for retaliation. We're stronger than ever, especially with all the intel and knowledge we've been gathering. Now we're finally at ready to attack the Zangatarn. That there's one little problem. What problem is that, sir? Ma'am? Sir? We cannot <laughs> reach the Zangatarn in space. They are somehow disrupting our jump gates. We cannot use them to travel anymore. Tell me more about the broken jump gates. When our forces were defeated and we retreated, the Zangatarn opened a large sector in the far colonies. We have no idea what's going on in the occupied area, and we cannot find out. Are you regretting your choice of voice yet? <laughs> Definitely not. It appears that the Zangatarn did something to some of our jump gates. Now they only allow the Zangatarn ships to traverse them, but not ours. I'm no tech expert, but according to our scientists, there's some sort of scrambler on the other side, which is blocking our transportation. Please continue. So as you can see, we have a problem that needs to be solved. Our engineers and scientists have achieved almost no results in this matter. <gasps> <laughs> you went on Woody the Woodpecker at the end there. <laughs> what can I do? I'm not a scientist. Indeed you're not. Ha ha. There's a different approach I'd like to try. Recently, a rumor reached my ears that one of the Freedom Mercs, Marion, was able to successfully travel through his. Oh Zangatarn wait! Never mind. There's no worries, man. The world's being. The world just got saved. We don't. We don't have to do it now. Someone did it before us. World saved. The We're saving done. is done. All right. Thanks for watching, Void Expanse, guys. Uh, world is saved. <laughs> uh, mission over, I guess. I mean, I guess only this world was saved. So like uh, the whole galaxy. Yeah, I guess there's, there's more of. There's more galaxy. All right. All right. We'll keep going. Of course, he was immediately killed by the Zangatards. We have, we cannot exactly ask him how he managed to pull this off. How do, how do we know that... Okay, is the situation hopeless then? Not quite. As we know, Marion spent a lot of time on one independent station outside of the Freedom Territory with a guy called Barrich. Tell me more about this Barrich. It's a nickname. I believe his real name is Boris Ryshkevsky. 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 He was a brilliant physicist back in the Federation days. But this information is not of much importance to you. What you need to know is where to find him. And this is actually your task. Find this barrage. And then find a way to travel through the block jump game. <laughs> it's like it's like when you're like when you're listening to your answering machine recording, and it's like you have reached the phone number of Trevor. You leave a <laughs> message. <laughs> like, oh god. I gotta re record that. Intelligence indicates that he's somewhere in the Barracor system. Remember, this is a task of crucial importance. You must prevail. Alright, where's Barracor? This is a good time to look at the galaxy map. So, the green systems here are the order systems. They're allied to the order. We're safe there, pretty much. Uh, all these red systems, that's the crazy bad aliens. And then over here, you got some uh, freedom fighter systems, and then there's some fanatics who, like, worship the aliens. And then some pirates apparently have formed a pirate government. Don't exactly know how that works. What's the name of the system? Barracor? Barracor. In the freedom. Alright, I gotta look at my quest log because I don't see where this is. Barracor. Dude, that's way far away! It's it's like all along the border of Zangratar in space and then up to the north. <laughs> Holy cow! That's super far away. It's really far away.
way. So I guess I should explain what these icons mean. So when you hover over a system, it'll show you a few things. So the swords on the left and the number beneath them indicate how much military presence, or at least danger, there is in that area. So like here in order, it's only five, because it's a really safe, well-secured system. But then over here in like Zanger Turn Space, it's 80, because it's super dangerous over there. So we're traveling along this route, it looks like we're going to be steadily going into more and more dangerous space. Yeah, from like 20 all the way up to 64 at the end. <laughs> Great. So it's going to get more and more dangerous as we go. So I don't think we should go all the way over there until we have healing. Because yeah, there's... probably we should, we should grind out some money or quests or something. Oh yeah, there's like three sectors in a row that don't have any stations in them over here. In like 42, 50, and 55 space. Yeah, I see that. We probably want to get up to light cruisers before we... Yeah, or frigates probably. before we go, go over there. Alright, so I guess we could just do some uh, miscellaneous quests then. Are you going to explain the rest of the symbols there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the that's the militarization. And then what's the one on the right for? Uh, Tech technology level? Technology level. So that's so like, the higher that is... equipment. Yeah. Um, le less expensive, like... Uh, polymers, biomaterials, stuff like that. Yeah, so the 60 on the gear here indicates that the Order Capital pr has pretty good stuff in terms of technology. Same as Freedom. Is there anything that's higher than 60? I mean, what's going to be better than the Order Capital in terms of tech? Oh, the Pirate, apparently. I have 70, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Because they have the most military stuff. Must be. So if, if there's a way to go and be friendly with the Pirates, you, they might have the best weapons. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know if there is or not. I don't know if there is either. You can align with the uh, Order Faction, the Freedom Faction, or the Fanatics. But we're not, I don't think you can do with the Pirates, can you? I don't think so. And of course you I, can't You can't I, align I with the aliens. I don't know everything about this game, though, so I, I don't know. Maybe. It's possible, perhaps. But I doubt it. Alright, we got a bunch of points there for leveling up. So let's see, level 23. I have to be level 30 to get light cruisers. So that's like an next big roadblock. Yeah. I say we finish off electronics and get into shield management a little bit. Um, yeah, that might be a good idea. I'm going to need better shields, and I'm going to need better electricity generation. Where is that? Generator efficiency? Yeah, so I need to be heading down to this, so it'll use less fuel to recharge my shields and my lasers. Yep. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and max out the electronics and engineering at the top, so we can start getting further down into these trees. Alright, fuel... Why do I have to take fuel compression level 3 before I can take generator efficiency? That's weird. Well, fuel capacity is about just as good as generator efficiency, so... Hmm, maybe so. So let's see, shield management is 3% more capacity and regeneration. And then here, the shield reestablishment is how long it takes for your shields to go from 0 to 1%, because it takes a second for them to, like, come back online. I want to knock down. Ooh, deflection rate. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Where should I put the rest of these points? Max ammo energy weapons? That doesn't seem very valuable. We can deduce the energy consumption. Yeah, but down that line at the bottom left there is energy weapons direct power injection, which is just, just more flat, damage. flat damage. Yeah, so you want to head down there eventually, I suppose. Gosh, yeah. you have to get level 5 on these before you can go down the next one. Yeah. That's rough. We'll get there eventually. I think I think when we played before, like the highest level character we had was like 50 or 60, so we, we have plenty of points by then. Oh, yeah. Alright, I spent mine. Are they selling anything for cheap here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so I guess we should talk to the station commander and get some general quests, huh? Yeah. Alright, I got a bounty contract. He's doing reconnaissance. Eliminate this lieutenant. Come back with your reward. Alright, so I guess we'll show you what, what the... Uh, general quests do look like, and then we'll probably do some off-screening between videos, so we can go ahead and go exploring in the next episode. Alright. So before we leave, is there anything we want to buy that's cheap here? Yeah, I already checked. Doesn't look like it. Mm, okay. Everything's expensive here, it seems like, except for polymers, which I'm holding. 
All right. Ooh, I want those medium pulse lasers. So do I. I'm gonna buy one. I'm not gonna buy one now because I already have an ion cannon in my middle slot, so no point in it at this point. I'll save my money. All right, I'm gonna go and you want to head. What did you get a quest from the station commander? Yep. All right. Well, you want to party up and go kill a pirate? Sure. Uh, I'll follow you. All right. So on the other side of the sector, is your quest closer? Uh, yeah. Mine's on all the way the other cross. All the other way on the other side as well. Yeah. Same here. They they seem to give you quests that are on the other side of the map. Which way is he flying? Oh, he's flying north. I'm going to want to go around the north side of this star. So you can look on the map here. This is the, the guy we're looking for for our quest. And the rest of these red dots are just miscellaneous piracy types. Let's fight the pirates as we go along. That's, that's half the fun of this game. Ooh, this guy's tough. Got a decent ship. Can't tell which of my stuff is coming from him. Ah, got me some polymers or something. Yeah, so my pirate's flying counterclockwise around the mm. the uh, sector here. My guy's flying clockwise, and he's just up north here. Oh, you got a bounty as well? Yep. Boom! I love how that ion cannon looks. That's my guy's right up here, so he's probably closer. Oh, okay. Is this your guy right here? Nope. Got him. Getting that first shot off with the ion cannon is a nice start to a fight. Yep. He's right over here. Okay, my guy's flying in this direction, so he'll probably come over to us. Didn't we uh, at one point find out that if you killed every pirate in a sector, that the pirates wouldn't respawn? I think oh. so, but they might have changed it. This guy's got a civilian shuttle. He's about to get wrecked. Yeah, what a scrub. Alright, where's your guy? Uh, Are we chasing him? He's flying around, we're chasing him, aren't we? Yeah, we just have to catch up to him in cruise mode. If I fly close to him, he'll slow down and start engaging me rather than flying in circles around the sector. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, this guy's pretty good. I'm circle strafing and he's actually keeping a beat on me. Damn, I keep missing with this ion cannon. Nice! You got him. My guys, this, this next pirate is way out in the middle of space out here. What's he doing this far out in the middle of nowhere? It's just asteroids I mean, out here. He's a pirate. Don't question their motives. He's not even going anywhere. There's no, like, you know, what do you call them? Jump gates or anything? Nothing. Ooh, he's a civilian shuttle. No, no chance. Alright, let's head back to the station and collect my reward. I like Bastard your than me. <laughs> I like your your four purple things, and I also like that the airship is basically like a wing shape. Yeah. Although flying around in the Great Fox is pretty cool too. <laughs> you you can't fly through any golden rings though, so. Oh. Oof. That's an asteroid. <laughs> I just watched you do that. It's like, <laughs> is he gonna? Yep. <laughs> there he goes. Where did you learn to fly? Oh, and then of course the game scolds me for bumping into the door at the. The, the station here. Alright, station commander. I finished the bounty hunt job, and we get some experience. Cool. So, how, what, how high a level are we that... How much experience does it take for each level? So, oh! Yeah, thank you for that! <laughs> That's why I was looking at the bar, it went up. So it looks like we're about 2,500 experience per level, getting about 600 experience per quest. So it's like three... no, no, uh, four or five quests for each level. And we can, since we can do two at a time, it'll take us like half an hour to get to level 30. Like, or less. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Alright, 15, 15 more points to put in. Reverse speed. 
Where is the one that... Yeah, here it is. Ramming. Collision damage to self, <laughs> minus 20%. Collision damage to target, plus 40%. So this is basically, really effective. it's very useful. When you get to the highest level, so the first level takes 20% off of your own collision damage. So I imagine it either goes like 20, 40, 60, or 20, 30, 40. Do you know which one? I don't know. If it goes 20, 30, 60, it's like basically you just, you become a, your ship becomes a battering ram. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so I'm going to keep working my way down through combat movement. Because I love being able to strafe faster than my opponent. It's so useful. Especially when you're using laser-based uh, weapons. Oh, I got some electronics I can sell for some, some value here. Nope, none of these things are worth buying down here. So what was the ship that I saw that had the four laser slots? I didn't write down the name of it. I don't remember it now. These are uh, all things I've know. seen before. Hmm. Did I get a better engine here? No, I got an ion engine if you don't have anything like that yet. Well, no, I just I just upgraded my engine to the cruise engine system. I'm tired of being slower than you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll sell this. This generator is not as good as the one I have. Yeah, the cruise engine system increases my cruising speed by 75%, so... Oh, nice. Haul ass. Yeah, that's fast as hell. Looks like there's not another one of those here. But now I'm broke, so... Well, I have 14,000 I'm holding on to right now. Where's a healing beam? Can I get one of those? Alright, I want to buy my repair beam, because they have one here. We can test it out. Hey. Oh, and also the ship is determined by... The number of device slots you have is determined by the ship you have, so... If you want to be able to have more devices equipped, you got to get better ships. So, with a mining laser and a repair beam, all my devices are, are full. Alright. You want to, uh... Do one more quest real quick? Yeah, we have to go to the next station over and talk to the station commander there, but yeah. Yeah, we have to go to the next station. Alright, we'll do one more on screen and then do some uh, off-screen leveling. So, right. we'll probably just go to 30 so we feel confident to head out to the, uh... What'd you call it? Hey! Hit the gas! Alright, see ya! Oh, no! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Pew! Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're fast now with the cruise system. Do the ships have... Do all the ships have the same max speed once you get the best engine? Uh... I think so. I'm not sure. There's, the speed isn't one of the ship's stats, right? It's just, you know... The amount of hull you have and that kind of thing. Oh, another bounty. Yeah. Perfect. These are the best because all you have to do is go kill a guy and come back. Oh, a trading task. I can finally sell polymers. Oh, you have to go to another system? Yeah, I, I don't have the cargo space for it because I don't have a freighter ship, so. Uh, just have to say nope. No thanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those are the ones where you have to take three trips or whatever if you don't have a cargo yeah. ship. Yeah. It's, they want to give you. Your ship only has 100 cargo by default. And you can buy bigger ships with more cargo capacity. You can also get cargo capacity boosters. But... Yeah. Let's see if I see the ship I was looking at earlier. It's not here. Is there a cruise engine? Advanced combat thrusters. Those look fun. Yeah, good good for fighting, not for going long distances. Yeah, because it's the, half your cruising speed. <laughs> those are not great. I remember using those one time and wishing that I had a more cruising speed rather than more maneuverability. Yeah, because you getting away from a fight is better than being able to fight better, though, right? Yeah, when you're in a, d a dangerous situation, that's for sure. All right, where are you headed? I'm just going out and fighting some pirates because I don't, I don't right. have a good quest. So. Well, why don't you follow me and take half the experience for my quest? <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, you're already all the way down there. I got a pirate out in the middle of nowhere up here. You'll catch up to me. There's a there's something there's some things that they added in this game. Hmm. Uh, like when you take when you take damage, you you're knocked backwards. Hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. If you're hit with a missile, at least not with lasers. I'll try and get the first shot on this guy. Yeah. There we go. Nice. 
Got him. That ion can is nice. If you can oh. get the tracking right. Oh. Just died. You died. <laughs> you died. How could you have done this? Autopilot. Oh. It was only 131D for. Oh, because you had no money. That's right. Autopilot. Yep. And I didn't have anything in my cargo, so. Hello, patrol ships, all just hanging out. That's a little weird. Yeah, with no cargo and no money in your pocket, there's no penalty for dying since all you do is lose your cargo and 10% of your money. Or 15% of your money. Yep. We upped it from the 10% default. See ya. Docking. Alright, I'll turn in this quest and then we call it a video. Alright. Bounty hunt complete. 600 experience added. Alright, thanks for watching. Off screen, we are going to get up to level 30. Just by doing quests all around in here, this sector and other safe order sectors. And then uh, we won't put in any, in any points or buy anything too serious off screen. Or maybe we'll, maybe I'll record it and make a montage. <laughs> montage. Montage! Like a montage! Exactly. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next time on Let's Play Void Expanse.